Let me welcome you again, dear friends, by watching our regular series, He is Coming Soon. It's a series about rapture and also a series about the book, He is Coming Soon. It was released both in Slovak and Czech language, but also in English language. And let me welcome Sergei Mihal again. Now we'll in the very beginning, open your book. There is a passage that touched me. And it's called John saw the future of mankind. The fact that John saw the future of mankind is mentioned and written in the revelation of John. John received it from Christ through an angel. And I would like you to share about this topic. Yes, John was beloved by Jesus. We can see it in the Gospel of John, the Matthew. And what he revealed to John, the future of mankind, actually the pattern that God shows in advance what he's going to do with mankind. For the first time, we can see it in the Old Testament, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah. But the very first man who saw the future of mankind was Enoch. By Enoch, God started the pattern where he reveals future things to people who serve him before they actually happen. We can see that Enoch knew about the flood of the world thousand years be before it actually came. That's why Enoch named his son Methuselah because it's a prophetic name. It means that when the flood of the world comes or when the end comes, he will die or he will die when the end comes. It's the meaning of the name Methuselah. We can see the same pattern in every Old Testament prophet. And the pattern goes on. The God reveals something in advance that will happen later. And I read the Old Testament about Enoch and I was very surprised when I realized that it says Enoch walked with God for 300 years and then he was gone and he was no more. It's actually the first person who was taken up to God. Yes, it's the first person who was taken by God. And it's a pre-picture of the church before the judgment comes on the world and tough things come on the world. Church, similarly, like Enoch, will be taken but also Apostle Paul writes about Enoch and he explains because the first book of Moses only mentions Enoch and mentions that he was gone and he was no more. But in the Hebrew chapter 11, he explains more specifically why God took him. It says, says that by faith, Enoch was liked by God. And he was, he was given a testimony that God liked him. And that's exactly the same with the church. Church is, is liked by God. Church is somebody who loves God, and that's why God will not allow church to suffer, to bear all those things to come. And therefore, the same thing that was said about Enoch's life, that he loved God, you can see the same pattern in the church, that it loves God. If I'm not wrong, Enoch was a great-grandfather of Noah. So Enoch was the seventh generation from Adam and Noah was the tenth generation from Adam. And I believe that the Noah itself and the flood is a big testimony that I read in your book. That actually in the time of Noah there was freedom, there were no fights, no wars. And then in that time the flood came. And that's the reason why also Jesus says that when he will come, he will come, he will come just like in the Noah's time. People will build, they will sow, they will sell. He's not speaking about famine or earthquakes. But this by the fact, he says he will come. And then when we look at the prophets like Daniel, Zechariah, they speak about Armageddon. Daniel specifically speaks that when Jesus will come, the whole world will be destroyed. 
The people of happy heart will disappear. How is it possible that on one hand, Jesus says that he will come into a calm atmosphere, like in the Noah's time, and on the other hand, he will come in the time of destruction when the world will be destroyed. For me, this is a, a big secret that when Jesus or prophets speak about Christ's second coming, they spoke about one single day, but it will not be a single day. Christ's second coming has two stages, two separated cases. I also read about that in the book He is Coming Soon. I believe it's a good topic to talk about. I believe we can end by this. Let me thank you, thank you Sergei, for writing this book, from taking part in this series, for making the book so perfect about the prophecies, about the Word of God. And we are looking forward to see you in the next part of our series, He is coming soon. Thank you.